Welcome to 3CI Training. My name is Ron Shaw and this is going to be a short video on how to install Active Directory directory services on a Windows Server 2008 box. Now, currently I have a, a standalone server running in a, a, a virtual a VMware. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this box and we're going to install Server 2008. Now, what we need to do is in order to install um, Active Directory directory services, the first thing we have to do is go to the server manager and what we're going to do is install the role um, Active Directory directory services. So I'll go to the roles, <coughs> select the add roles, we'll go through the wizard and then from here I'm going to sit there and select the directory, Active Directory domain services. So we'll go next. Um, just give you some, um, just gives you uh, informational about that you must run the DC uh, promote uh, after you have uh, got the directory services installed. Now from here it's going to give you a little summary again that you must do DC promo in order to finish up the uh, to make it a fully functional domain control. So from here it's going to start the service now. This will take a few minutes to install, approximately about three to four minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video until it has completed its services. So I'll just minimize the screen and pause the video. All right, now that we've seen that the uh, role has been added, what we'll go ahead and we'll close this out. And then from here, I'll just um, exit out of this screen here. And I'll go down to the Start menu. And I'm going to type in here DC Promo. Now, we'll just go ahead and hit Start. Now, the next phase of this, or the second part, will be actually promote this standalone server to a uh, domain controller for the first force. So now I'll just go ahead, uh, we'll look at the um, warning information here. We'll select a create a new domain and a new forest. We'll give it a fully qualified domain name, which I'll just say 3CI local. In here, it's going to check whether this name is already available or in use. If it was, then it, um, we'd have to uh, select a new net by, or a new name. Now we're going to leave it at these uh, functional levels here, 2000 at the forest levels, just in case we have any other uh, down level clients uh, acting as domain controllers. Same thing for the domain functional level, we'll leave it at 2000, again just in case we have any 2000 or 2003 domain controllers in place. Otherwise if we, if we know for sure we don't have any, we can just go ahead and change it to Windows Server 2008. But just be advised by doing that, uh, any, if you do have any domain controllers operating as 2000 or 2003 server, then they will no longer be able to communicate with this server. It's also going to uh, see if we have a... Um, if we need to install DNS, as we can see here, uh, I need DNS installed. Now again, it's just going to ask you about the delegation. We'll leave yes for this. It's going to ask us for the default location for our database log, files, and syslog. Again, we'll just leave the default. Now we'll have to put in here restore mode. Now, typically we like to use uh, a different password than our actually domain account, so I'll just put a password in here. Now this password is the password that's going to be used if we have to do an Active Directory uh, res um, restore mode. Uh, doesn't meet complexity, so I will have to make sure it meets complexity. Now it's just going to give me a summary of information, and I'll click Next. Now this step here is going to take probably about 5 to 10 minutes. So again, I'm just going to sit there and I will pause the video for this particular task. All right, now that you can see that it has finished up installing the Active Directory directory services, next thing we're going to have to do is uh, we'll hit finish here and then we will be prompted to restart. So at this time we'll go ahead and restart the machine again. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pause the videos for a few seconds here to allow this thing to uh, completely reboot. 
Now, after your computer uh, restarts or the server restarts, it's going to take about probably five minutes for this thing to go through and completely finish up the uh, domain control promotion process. So you'll see it apply computer settings. It'll lock down some of the desktop uh, in order to um, uh, make this uh, server more secure because it is operating as a domain controller. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, Hit the pause button for a few seconds to allow this to finish its uh, uh, installation process. All right. Now that it started back up, so let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to log back on as the administrator here. So I'll go ahead and switch users, uh, another user. So 3CI backslash ADM. Oh, if I can spell administrator right, will help. Now, uh, what I'll do is go ahead and log in as the administrator. Now, by the way, since this was a domain controller, you would not be able to log in as the local administrator. So, again, it's preparing the desktop. Again, this could take a couple minutes here. We'll go ahead and close the, uh, well, we'll go ahead and leave this open to verify that the roles were installed. So we'll go ahead and click on it. It's going to take a few seconds here to collect the information. All right, I can see that the Active Directory Domain Services role has been installed and DNS is running or has been installed. Uh, we can see that Active Directory uh, sites um, our domain name. We can see the built-in containers from here. We'll go in here and check our DNS just to verify that the uh, uh, forward lookup zones were all created. And I see them in here. All right. That's all it is to install Active Directory on a um, Windows Server 2008 box. Uh, um, I Thank you for watching this little short video and hope to uh, see you back in future videos. Have a great day.